So in a previous video, I showed you some of the awesome sites that are on uh, Zeronet. However, in this video, I'll go over some more. So first off, if you don't know what Zeronet is, I will put the video on screen, hopefully. Um, I made a video showing how uh, to download and what the basics of Zeronet is. However, in this video, I'll go over some sites that are in Zeronet. So first of all, Zero name. It's a uh, just a list of websites, and the, it has the bit URL. So a lot of websites have dot bit URLs. So you don't need like very long URLs. You can just have whatever dot bit. Um, I'll go more over that in a different video. So there is zero mail. So this is like a web mail. So you can send messages to different people. So in this case, there's like an echo bot. So you can just say, hi, this is a test. And when you send the message, it's encrypted. And then only the person who you send the message to can get it, unlike normal email, which anyone can get it. And then in this case, echo bot then replied to me. And again, I'm the only person that can read this message because it is encrypted. So this is a cool feature of ZeroNet. I'll go on to another one. So there is zero board. Uh, so in the case of zero um, board and all, uh, zero token stuff, you want an ID. So you go to zero ID and then you get your ID. So for zero board, this is like a board where you just type whatever you want. So for the tutorial, and then we submit that message. And then once you submit it, um, it will be posted here in the last messages. Then everyone can see that. So now everyone can see my little thing and then I can see what other people have done. So they're sharing their own websites. So uh, I did show in the other video zero talk. Um, there is here is a pretty good website, which is zero search. So you can search for whatever you want. So I'll just search test. And here we go, there are a few test sites and I guess a Tetris site. So this is like a little search engine for um, for Zeronet. Um, here there's reaction GIFs. So you can view these GIFs and scroll down and see different GIFs. And you can like the GIFs and you can also comment on them, comment on the GIFs if you want. And then there are many, many GIFs on this website and you can view them all and there are different categories. So there's these ones from the developer and GIFs and not so, well, ones I can't show on YouTube. So there's also a blog here by somebody called Zed Alex. And this is a quite a nice website on Zeronet so you can see some photos and these are presumably some of his photos that he's taken um we've also got uh, a little website which just tells the time so when you refresh the page it'll tell you whatever time it is pretty useless seeing as you got it in the co corner but it's quite a, a neat idea if only it updated itself um and there are so in this case, there's an anime blog. I'm not really into anime that much. However, this person has like a, a blog for anime and well, it looks like they have a lot of anime on their blog. Um, oh yeah. So there's also, a, you know, a little stupid flip a coin where you flip a coin and it gets heads or tails. Uh, there's a little site here, which is like a, a game which I, I think you can get this, well, it's not, um, you can get it on the normal web too, but it's just a little showcase sh showing that you can play little games and crash and die. Um, so what I'm showing you, all of these websites are served peer to peer and they have a, the benefit that if I disconnect from the internet, Unlike usual websites, like if I try to go to Google now, it won't work. 
all these websites that I've previously visited still work. So if I go to Zero Talk, I can still see the things that have been posted and I can then go on to a little thing where someone's asking about using Tor with ZeroNet. And as you go, here's the developer. Uh, as I said, he, he does talk a lot um, and is active within the community. Uh, the only thing, like if I tried to type something and submit it, it wouldn't work. However, all these websites that I've shown you here, so this, this guy's blog, these are all can be accessed without the internet. Now, I think that's a pretty cool thing. So uh, I, in my other videos, I will show you how you can create your own website. So other people can then view your website. I'll go more over the benefits of Zeronet probably uh, in another website. And also I will go over Tor, using Tor and Zeronet to hide your IP uh, for when you're surfing Zeronet. Like the video if you like it, subscribe if you wanna see more. And these are the two videos I was on about. So click them if you want to watch them.